Welcome to our Generative AI demo series, where we focus on securing, delivering, and optimizing modern generative AI applications with F5. This is the next installment on our Agentic Rack demo video series, which explore delivery and optimization use cases from F5. In these demonstrations, we will showcase three key scenarios that address enterprise concerns around traffic delivery and digital resiliency. For context, I previously explained the reference architecture in my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I encourage you to do so. These Acadia Financials demo applications with the Gen AI chatbot are made available and accessible via F5 Global Network. In this demo, I have a virtual desktop spun up in Singapore and two additional desktops spun up in Australia, including my own desktop. To optimize user experience, users are directed to the closest edge inference app stack for the best performance. In this scenario, users in Singapore will be served by the Singapore Bare Metal Edge Inference Service, while those in Australia will be served by the Edge Inference on Google Cloud located in Australia. However, to tailor for the Gen AI experience for premium customer like myself, I utilize F5 Edge infrastructure to dynamically route my traffic to the best performance Edge inference service, ensuring optimal performance and responsiveness. Hence, my desktop will be served from the Singapore Edge inference service, although that I'm located in Australia. Now, let's introduce failure scenario into our setup. What if the Gen AI front-end apps or the cloud inference service at Google not available or down? In this scenario, user in Australia will be seamlessly redirected to the Edge inference service in Singapore. That's scenario number one. What if the vector database in DC1 becomes unavailable and goes down? Rex retrieval will be seamlessly retrieved from DC2 without human interventions, creating a self-healing situation where no downtimes occur. That's scenario number two. In our third scenario, what if the LLM model on the Singapore bare metals server not available or perhaps the GPU malfunction and unable to serve the inference function. In this case, bare metal each inference service in Singapore will source its language model from AI factory. All those communications are facilitated by F5 encrypted mesh fabric. All these three scenarios demonstrate the resiliency of front-end apps and Gen AI chatbot apps in an unforeseen failure scenario. Let's see how all this in action. This is the F5 Distributed Cloud Console, and I have five sites registered and online status shown in the console. This is the F5 Encrypted Mesh Fabric. As shown, I have four healthy sites connected to each other, forming a mesh fabric. GCP site is connected via F5 Regional Edge. Currently, my desktop is located in Australia. As mentioned, I have two remote desktop set up, one in Australia, and the other one in Singapore. I'm going to log in to the Acadia trading apps from the Australia desktop. As seen, the Australian user will be directed to the Australian Edge inference service located in Google Cloud. Next, I will log in for the Singapore desktop. The Singapore user will be served from the Singapore Edge Inference serv Service on a bare metal server. Both users can leverage the Agentic Rack chatbot for interaction. To ensure optimum performance, an intelligent traffic steering policy had been configured on F5 platform to serve my interactions from the Singapore Edge Inference Service, since Singapore Edge Inference App Stack has a higher capacity. Let's interact with the Agentic Rack by asking a few questions. As shown there, regardless of your locations, both users will, be, will receive similar responses. Let's demo scenario 1, where the each inference service in GCP are not available. Assuming the administrator deploy an unstable app unintentionally, causing the front-end application and, in, and its associated chatbot to crash. To simulate this scenario, I will trigger a CI-CD pipeline to, 
deploy and updated apps onto the GCPH inference service, you will see that the front-end application on GCP is unstable and crashes. The impacted user will be automatically and seamlessly be redirected to the Singapore Edge inference service. Let's confirm if the agentic Rex chatbot is still functional. It clearly shows that our agentic Rex still responds to user question. This is how F5 platform intelligently optimize user experience to provide resiliency of application. This concludes scenario number one. Let's move on to scenario number two. I will demonstrate scenario number two from my local desktop in Australia. Let's validate to make sure our chatbot is still responding to my question. Indeed, it provides me with the answer to who is the chairman of the board of Acadia Financial. Tony Smart is the chairman of the board of directors. This information is obtained from the vector database located on Enterprise DC1. This also can be validated with F5 platform blocks. This is my vector database. I leveraged the open source Qdron as my Rex vector database and it is installed in Enterprise DC1. Database records are replicated across DC2 via F5 encrypted mesh fabric. For scenario number two, let's intentionally destroy the primary vector database in DC1. The vector database in DC1 is destroyed and terminated. Let's try asking the chatbot the same question. The chatbot responded even though the primary vector database in DC1 is unavailable. It retrieved the appropriate information from the vector database in DC2. Let's ask a new question to ensure indeed it is not from caches. This is amazing as there is no interruptions to the user experience. Let's validate that those documents were indeed retrieved from the vector database in DC2. You can validate this from the F5 platform logs, which show that those data were indeed retrieved from DC2. This demonstrated how F5 platform seamlessly address organizations' concern on resiliency of a critical component of your AI architecture. Let's move on to our last scenario. What if the LLM model on Metal A2 located in Singapore not available for unforeseen circumstances? The current F5 platform logs show that the system is leveraging the local onbox language model on Metal A2 for inference and embedding. This is Metal A2, where I host my Olama AI platform, which is the last language model. Let's destroy AI model platform and its associated language model. The local onbox Olama and its associated language model are destroyed. Let's validate the impact on the user's experience when the local LLM is unavailable. It doesn't appear that there is any impact on to the user's experience. This is because Langchain on Metal A2 now obtains LLM model from an AI factory. As explained previously, I'm using a bare metal app stack Metal T4 server equipped with local onbox GPU and LLM as an AI factory. Let's validate this with the F5 platform logs. The F5 platform logs show that the LLM model was indeed obtained from the Metal T4. Let's interact more with the Agentic Rack chatbot to ensure all those failed AI components do not impact user experience. Let's retrieve my stock holding. This will trigger an API call to the API Gateway server to retrieve for the details. All those three failure scenarios demonstrated indeed doesn't impact any user experience. This is what organizations desire for their modern or gen AI apps. I hope you find this demo informative and helpful in understanding how F5 addresses enterprise concerns around traffic delivery and digital resiliency. Feel free to reach out if you need any further deep dive sessions. Thank you.